Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Before we begin today's practice, make your intention clear in your mind. What are you letting go of that has been in the way of your freedom and fulfillment? I'm letting go of fear, doubt, unforgiveness, judgment. What are you embracing that is in alignment with your desire to awaken to your true self. I am embracing love, trust, forgiveness, innocence. Take a moment to write your intention in the comments below, now or after your practice. Share them to solidify your intention in your own consciousness and in the world. And now, sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. Our purpose in today's practice is to review and integrate the next two spiritual principles into our daily thought system so as to actively apply the principles that we practice to all of the events, happenings, and relationships that we encounter in the course of this day. Our goal is to witness these principles at work in our own direct experience. Today's two principles are I rest in God and I am as God created me. We will work with one principle at a time and we'll begin by thinking about it quietly and consciously, allowing your mind to relate it to your needs, your seeming problems, and all of your concerns. The basic instruction is to place the idea within your mind and let your mind use these ideas as it chooses. Give it faith that it will use them wisely, being helped in its decisions by your inner guide. What can you trust but your own direct experience? The purpose of these exercises is to bring you ever nearer to the direct experience of the truth. Be willing to open and to trust in the direction and the guidance of the highest within you. Give your mind the direction at the start and then lean back in quiet faith and let it use the ideas you have given it as they were given you. 
And now, take a deep, slow, and full breath in. And as you exhale slowly, bring to mind the first principle. I rest in God. Repeat this idea slowly and consciously to yourself as you allow its meaning to blossom in your awareness. rest in God. I rest in God today and let God work in me and through me while I rest in Him in quiet and in perfect certainty. Within the dream matrix, as long as we continue to identify with our body and this separate sense of self that we call the dream character self, we assume that we are the cause, the cause of our actions, thoughts, choices. This is the idea that we are a free agent, separate and apart from the whole, an agent that has the ability to choose for him or herself. It is this very idea that forms the foundation of what we call guilt and pride. The antidote for these is to recognize that there is no will but God's. The idea of separate wills conflicting in their direction and in their interests is an idea that is based entirely in the dream matrix. This belief does not exist in the realm of truth. The truth is oneness, and the one will which moves all things is the truth. You can rest in this one will, free of pride and free of guilt knowing that you are moved by God and that everything and everyone around you is moved by the one will of the infinite creator. In the East, this concept is known as non-doership. The absence of the separate self is the absence of a separate will. And without a separate will, how can there be doubt uncertainty, restlessness, or guilt. I rest in God. Take the next few moments to place this idea in your mind and let your mind relate it to your needs, your seeming problems, your decisions, and all of your concerns. Do this now.
And now take a deep, slow and full breath in. And as you exhale slowly, bring to mind the second principle. I am as God created me. And now repeat this idea slowly and consciously to yourself as you allow the full meaning of the words to blossom in your awareness. I am as God created me. I am God's child, an extension of the infinite creator. Today, I lay aside all sick illusions of myself and let my creator tell me who and what I really am. You are as God created you because all of God's creations are eternal as himself. God creates within himself because there is no outside to infinity. There is nothing beyond omnipresence. And so every quality of divinity is your quality. Everything that you picked up within this dream about who you are, what abilities you have, and what your traits are, belong only in the dream and do not apply in any measure to your true self. You are now and for all time and all eternity has God created you, a perfect and divine idea in the mind of God, which has no limit and no end, which cannot be corrupted any more than God himself can be corrupted or distorted in any way. I am as God created me. Take the next few moments to place this idea in your mind and let your mind relate it to your needs, your seeming problems, your decisions, and all of your concerns. Do this now.
as you approach the completion of this practice period. Take a deep, slow, and full breath in, breathing all the way to the top, and hold it as you behold the intention to integrate the fruits of your practice into your thought system. And as you exhale now, relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring these ideas with you into the rest of your day. Attempt to give these ideas a brief but conscious review each waking hour. You can use one on the hour and the other a half an hour later. And you need not give more than just a moment to each one. Simply repeat the idea and allow your mind to rest a moment in silence and in peace. And as you turn to other things, try to keep the thought with you and let it serve to help you to keep your peace throughout the day. And as we close this practice period, take a moment now to thank yourself for taking the time to connect with truth and to remember and activate the state of peace and happiness within yourself. And remember to carry this sense of gratitude and inner peace with you as you go about your day doing what needs to be done, but knowing that you are always connected to the love and joy of God. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice, please like the video, comment about your experience below, share your intentions for what you are releasing and what you are embracing this day, and be sure to subscribe to continue this journey. May you be at peace and know your true self.